Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waharika Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom, which means peace be upon you. Um, to the few sisters who are sincerely seeking this truth, it's the brother Yaraya Yasharala from the GMS Italy. And the title of this lesson is We Parted Ways Because of This Truth. Because of the truth. Now, this lesson is inspired by, you know, I was just scrolling through my phone and I saw a very old conversation I had with, you know, someone I'll call a friend, you know, when I was just coming in, when I just came into this truth. This was my initial months in this truth, you know. So I and this individual, we were working on some projects. You know, we had different dreams at that time, you know. We wanted to we wanted to make it in this kingdom, you know. We had we had plans of, you know, of building our uh uh what do you call it, a paradise in this hell that we're living in, you know, this kingdom that is run by the wicked. So anyway, to cut the long story short, you know, you know, at the beginning Coming into this truth, you know, we are kind of like naive. We don't have that much experience on how to handle certain situations, you know. So it was easy for for you to just cut off a friend that doesn't, you know, that doesn't really agree with you, you know. So at, at least for me, that was how it was. But now, you know, being longer in this truth, I have more, more, more experience, more understanding. And I know how to, you know, handle certain situations. Because I lost a lot of friends at my initial stage of coming into this truth. I actually lost a lot of friends, you know. Many of them, you know, they were just, they just actually stopped, you know, reaching me. You know, they saw I was strange. They thought I was strange. And some of them, you know, due to we not agreeing, you know, I just decided to cut them off. And the scripture tells you that if it were possible for you to be at peace with all men, you know, you should do it, you know. And that's the right way to go. You know, even if people don't really agree with you, you should always, you know, look for a way to be at peace, you know, and that's what experience is all about. You know, the longer you grow in this truth, the more you, you have experience and the more you know how to handle certain situations. So anyway, to cut the long story short, this individual is a very, very ambitious person just to give you a little insight. You know, he's that type that, you know, He's working on, he has his dreams, you know, he wants to become a professional dancer. He wants to become also an artist and all that. And I used to produce, you know, I used to write and compose. So we were working on a project and this individual is that kind of individual. He has, you know, he has children and the way he trains these children, man, you'd, you'd really be amazed. You know, he trains them, you know, gives them that, that mentality, that mindset of, you know, becoming celebrities in this kingdom of, um, of, you know, making it, breaking it through the, the sports world, you know, the, the music world and all that thing, you know? So he's someone that's really looking for his, um, for his comfort in this kingdom, you know? And he actually calls himself a so-called Christian, you know, he calls himself a Christian. He goes to all these churches and, you know, he believes he knows a lot about the Bible and everything. So coming into this truth, you know, I was trying to like, you know, let him know that, hey, this, that, and more, more, more of all, you know, it was peace because, you know, I had, you know, very beautiful projects, you know, I had friends that actually were waiting on me to just get that deal, you know, so they can all jump in and we can, they can have the best life that they all dream of, you know, so it was one of those people. You know, they actually, they, they, they saw the, they, they saw the, they saw the, 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 um, the, the talent the most I gave me and they saw that, man, this thing is going to take us somewhere, you know? 
So me coming into this truth was like, you know, it was like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It was like um, disappointing to them, you know? So they'd be like, man, so you're just going to leave all this thing for that Bible that you're reading? But they don't have the same vision that I have right now because, you know, the kingdom is what's more than whatever this kingdom has to offer. The coming kingdom is what's so much more than whatever this kingdom has to offer. So enough of the too much talk. I'll just read. This is me writing to him. Okay. So I said, bro, it's true. I've been misled many times, but the most I have seen my heart and I've seen that I've always searched for the truth. Now he sent me a message telling me that, you know, I'm confused. You know, I've jumped into something new again because I'm always jumping from something new from here to there. You know, because my past was, you know, it was it was a gradual step, you know. I fell victim, you know, I, I went to different churches, you know, I was part of the Mormons, you know, I tried to go and get into the the, the um the Masons and all these things, you know. So I did a lot of things, you know, I would always try things, you know. And I was doing it out of my sincerity of searching for, for the truth because I knew there was a uh, there was a truth. There was something true out, out there, but I didn't really know what it was. So I was praying and the most I, you know, he saw my sincerity. You know, he gave me the understanding of this truth and all praises to the most I, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai for bringing me out of that darkness, you know. So when you make such changes... People tend not to want to believe you anymore. They'd be like, oh, yesterday you were a Christian. The other time you said this and, you know, so they use that against me. You know, they use it against me, you know. So he says, um, so he wrote, he wrote, he wrote a message, you know, saying that, you know, you, you jump from one religion to the other. You jump from this to that, you know, you're, you're unstable. That, that, that was what he said. And I said, bro, it's true. I've been misleaded many times, but the most I yell about Shemi Shai. I've seen my heart and I've seen that I've always searched for the truth. So I gave him the book of Proverbs 24, 16, which says, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. And this is what it is. You know, there are many brothers in this truth before coming into this truth. They were part of different, you know, different organizations that were, that were, that were far away from the truth, you know. Brothers had different dreams before coming into this truth. For example, the Apostle Paul, he, 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 was, he was against the followers of Yahweh Shai. He was persecuting the followers of Yahweh Shai. He also partook in the persecution of, um, of Apostle Steve. Steve, you know, the disciple Steve, you know. So, uh, you see, uh, the, the Most High brought us out of the darkness that we were living, you know. So, this is not an excuse to use against someone that, oh, you've changed. You've changed. But you see, ever since I came into this truth... I've been stable, man. You know, this is this is the truth. This is rest. This truth is rest. Though, you know, at the initial stage, it's very, very difficult, but later it becomes it becomes the rest. You know. Now, going on, it says, I say I wrote, and finally he has blessed me with the truth and understanding of the scriptures, which is not found in any church or religion. That truth your pastor doesn't have or know. With all due respect. And that's true, man. Because this dude actually, you know, he believes so much in his pastors and all that thing in his church. You know, going to all these so-called black churches, you know. And, you know, so I just actually, you know, threw it out, out there to him. You know, that was how bold I was at that time, you know. And also at this time, I'm, also, I'm always bold, you know. But then, you know, I didn't really give a, a hoot, man, about, you know, losing anyone for this truth. You know, because I was getting kind of like tired, you know, going back and forth with this dude right here, you know. So I just had this scripture right here, Jeremiah 29, 13, which says, because, you know, you go around searching for this truth, but the time is coming when the most I have, Hashem Yahushai, if you're seeking with all your heart, it's going to give you, it's going to show you the way. This is the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 13. It says, and ye shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with all your heart. So that was my that was my case, you know. I was searching for the truth with all my heart. I was praying, you know, humbly, humbly, you know, um, truthfully to this God that I don't even know his name. I don't know who he was. And I told you, you know, 
I did a lesson sharing my 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 testimony of how I came to this truth. You know, I had a series of dreams, you know, in which the dream got explained through a video that I came across on YouTube, and that was the elder Manata Zakba, you know, and from there, you know, that's how I started learning about this truth, and the most I got me to this position that I am today. So it is really true. I bet full testimony to this, the book of Jeremiah 29th chapter. The 13th verse, if you seek the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with all your heart, is going to is going to give you the truth, man. It's going to manifest himself to you. So going on to read, it say, as a true believer, here is our old our world duty. Because it was telling me about, you know, the, the project and everything that man, are you just going to leave all that? You know, I was very, very close to signing a huge deal at that time, you know. I was very close to signing a huge deal that could change, you know, my life and those around me, you know. But that wasn't that wasn't the right life for me, you know. I wouldn't be able to 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 teach teach this truth, you know. My life would have been different. And you know, I give all praises to the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Because at the time all these things were happening, that was the time, you know, the most high started introducing me into this truth. You know, so I dropped all that thing because I know. Anything, you know, that you lose for the sake of our Savior, Yahweh Shai, in the kingdom, you're going to get them a thousand fold. Now, so I told him, as a true believer, here's our world duty. So I sent the book of Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, the 13th verse, it says, Let us hear the conclusion of the world matter. Fear the most high Yahweh Shai Shai and keep his commandments, for this is the world duty of man, you know, and... I wrote this message, you know, just I'm going to repeat, like I wrote it at the initial, you know, initial months of learning this truth, you know. So these were the things I was actually sending to this to this individual, you know, but then he couldn't see his eyes are blind, actually, you know, because this truth is only for a chosen few. And that's true, man. You know, the conclusion of the whole matter is to fear the most high Yahweh Shem Shai, which the fear of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is the beginning of wisdom, you know. Then keeping His commandments to the best of our ability, even if we know that we're not going to be saved through those 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 commandments, but those commandments are the way to go, you know. Now I added this precept, Proverbs four seven. Let's get it real quick. Proverbs 4, 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Wherefore, therefore, get wisdom. With all thy getting, get understanding. So you see, in this, when you, in this life, man, your main achievement, your main dream is that of getting wisdom. Okay? Now you should, you should go read the book of um, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, the fourth chapter. It tells you about wisdom. You know, if I'm not mistaken. Now, wisdom is the principal thing you should seek for. You remember when the Most High, you know, asked um, King Solomon through a dream, he should, he should, he should, he should, he should make a wish for anything. You know, he requested for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on, on how to to govern his people. And you know, that's the best thing you can you can ever ever pray for, man. Because with that, you have all riches, man. You have knowledge, understanding of everything. So you don't come into this world, you know, running after your dreams, you know, trying to follow some stupid careers in this kingdom, you know, and forget wisdom. That's foolishness, you know. Now going back to the conversation. So I wrote, so as you can see, my world duty is that of fearing the most high Yahweh Shimi Shai. And keeping his commandments to the best of my ability and wait for the return of his son to establish a new kingdom because this kingdom is under the rule of the wicked. So you see, and I wrote, those talents come from the most high, as you can see, what the world duty of man is to be. So you see, I wrote this because, you know, the previous message you wrote to me was like, you know, it was speaking to me you know trying to confuse me that you know i had so much talent that i can't let all these talents go that the most i was the one who gave me this talent so i should use it and all that so i was like hey can the most i gave me all this talent you know 
but <laughs> that's that's just something else you know that talent doesn't mean that's the careers i should go after you know and this ta- this talent actually you know if you know how to sing to write to produce to rap you, you, you have some special ability in sports and all these things. It has nothing to do with salvation, man. It has nothing to do with furthering the work of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai. All this is only going to distract you, okay? It has nothing to do. What you should do in this kingdom is, you know, just get yourself a good job the, the, as you can, you know. Walk, you know, feed yourself, live, you know. And wait for the kingdom of heaven to come, man. You know, we're not meant to to start building um, a kingdom here and trying to feel okay. You know, Yahweh Shai says you should pray for his kingdom to come. You know, now I'm not saying that you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't walk or anything. You know, walking is part of it. You don't have to be lazy because some people are lazy in this truth. You know, some people are very, very lazy, you know. And they use this truth to cover their cloak of being lazy. You know, the scripture tells us, you know, let's get the book of um, Proverbs, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse. It says, how long without sleep, O sluggard, when without arise out of thy sleep, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth and thy will thy, thy wants as an armed man you see so you don't have to be uh, to, to 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 be lazy you know you don't have to make yourself a burden to someone else you know the most i has given you hands and legs you know pray go out stand up and go work for yourself you know because some people take advantage of this in this truth you know you should watch out for such people you know now going back to what we were speaking of here. So you see, um, the most I didn't send us here to become, you know, the best athlete, to become the best musician and all these things. No, the most I didn't send us to do that, you know. And most of these Hebrew Israelite camps, they use it as an excuse, you know, oh, Hebrew Israelite rap, Hebrew Israelite this, Hebrew Israelite music or whatever. Now you can sing, you can make your music for yourself, you know, you can do your thing by yourself. You know, you can make it like a kind of side business, you know, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be included in the, in, in, in the ministry, you know, that's what people don't understand. So me, I actually, ever since I came into this truth, you know, I just stopped walking into the studio, you know, I was more carried about, you know, learning this truth and little by little, man, the most I took away that spirit from me of making beats, of, you know, writing and all that thing, composing. The Most High just took that spirit away from me. And I give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai, because doing this, he has permitted me more time to learn this truth. He has permitted me to grow. So you see, now he says, so I wrote, not to forget about Proverbs 23, 4, that quotes, labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. So you see, the book of Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, the fourth verse, you know, it tells us not to labor to be rich, you know. That's why we pray for the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai to provide our daily bread. Now, some brothers and this truth, the Most High made them rich, you know. It's all good. But our, our aim should be, shouldn't be that of laboring to be rich, you know, to, to, to be rich in this kingdom. You know, that's not what it is, man. You know, and the scripture also tells you that, you know, for it's going to be easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle, which is, you know, an entrance that was created for camels. Okay. You know, it's easier for, 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 for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to walk into the kingdom of heaven. You know, because where your art is, um, what how is it? How is it written? Where your where your art is, there is your treasure. Can can this is the book of Matthew six twenty one? It says, "For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also." You know, 
So if your heart is in your riches, if your heart is in, you know, achieving whatever kind of um, career in this kingdom, that's where your heart is going to be. That's where your treasure is, you know. But if your heart is set to the kingdom of heaven to come and, you know, all your, your treasure, everything is going to be this truth, man, you know. And Yahawashai also says, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything shall be added unto you, you know. So I went on writing. I said, if you go deep into the history of sports and arts, you will know, you know, I told you the, 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 the individual, you know, is a very, very ambitious person. He's very, very ambitious driven, man. You know, he has, he, he, he has his sons, his, his daughter, he has a son, okay, and daughters, you know, and he has trained these children from right from childhood, from little, you know, to become these sport beasts, to become these models, to become all these things, you know. He has kept into their mind, he has prepared their mindset from childhood into being this. What about preparing them from childhood in the right way of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? What about teaching them the truth from, from childhood? No. But he teaches them how to become a celebrity in this kingdom, how to how to breeze through in this kingdom, you know, because he is that ambitious person, you know. So I was trying to explain to him that if you go deep into history of sports and arts, you will know they were established by the seed of the wicked to keep the true men of the most high asleep. That's why we have been told in the book of Second Timothy to study to show ourselves approved unto the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, you know. And I wrote this, you know, just at the first few months that I came into this truth, you know. So I wasn't really well, um, really well experienced. But at the end of the day, what I wrote is still truth, man, you know. Olympics goes back to the Greeks, you know. Bread and circus, they do all these things, you know, to to take to to shift your attention, man. You know, all these sports and all these things, you know, that's what they used to grab your attention. Becoming a musician, American Idol, all this. I got talent, I got that. You know, all these things distract you from the main purpose of life. You know, as we read, the whole conclusion is for man to fear the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And keep the commandments, man. And we know these commandments, we have to keep them to the best of our ability. Though we can't keep everything and though we are not going to be judged by the commandments. But it's the way to go. So you see. And you see, you have to study to show thyself approved, you know. This is what we're told. Dividing the word of truth. Because if you don't divide the word of truth, you're going to fall for the lie. Now, I, I went on writing and I said, and to forget that the scripture also tells us in the book of Hosea 4, 6, that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. You know, majority of the sons of Israel who are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latinos and the rest of Israelites who are spread in different nations, looking like the nations, they find themselves. All these are ignorant people, man. You know? They are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, you know? For the lack of knowledge that you have, that's why you do everything to get into the music industry. For the lack of knowledge you have, that's why you do everything to get into the sports industry, to get into the modeling industry. They do everything they can in their power to break through these industries, you know? But they don't do anything in their power to seek for the truth. Why? That's because they lack knowledge, man. And that's going to cause the demise of the majority of the sons of Israel. The Most High is going to destroy you alongside with the wicked because you've refused to seek His truth. And His truth is available, man, at your fingertips. Because everyone owns a cell phone, a computer, you know? Instead of you looking for, for how to, 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 to get a deal from our money or how to get a deal from this or get a contract from this, why don't you seek for the truth? You see? So he says, I, I went on writing, Bro, you truly have to wake up to the truth and flee, and flee from all that Babylon Jews you've been sipping, which 
which is Christianity, philosophies of man and all religion. Because what's about to come ahead is way more than us, you know. So this is this is what I sent to this, to this, you know, I would say it's individual, you know. And ever since then, you know, he took me as his enemy. But he, do, he doesn't know I'm trying to tell him the truth, you know. And this is what it is. The scripture tells us that, you know, pe pe people, people would, um, people would uh, abhor us because of this truth. Just roughly paraphrasing, man, you know. And it's all good, man, you know. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm teaching you the gospel, but you're ashamed of it, you know. When Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to be ashamed of you. So you see, the minds of our people is really, is really sick. The mind is sick, man. You know, they don't seek for, they don't have any right priority. Their priorities are foolish, you know. So they fall, they fall victims, man. They are trying to get into Babylon. They are trying to be a part of Babylon when we told to flee Babylon. And I dropped our precept there, Micah 2.10. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. You know, this place is not your rest. This is not the right time you should be trying, dying hard to get a certain career or whatever. You know, just get yourself a job and go on, move on with life, man. You know. Just get yourself a job, put some food on your table and pray for the kingdom to come. But you see, Jake is lazy. Jake wants, you know, wants to be part of, you know, the, the elites, you know, enjoying and all that thing. They don't, they can't wait for the kingdom to come. They have that impatience that Esau has, you know, this is Jake. We told to depart. Okay, this place is polluted. This is not our rest. You know, it's going to destroy you with a sore destruction. If you're fighting to get, get that deal, if you're fighting to get into that limelight, if you're fighting to, to, to get into that movie role or whatever, man, you're messing yourself up. You don't know what's about to come. You're meant to flee from such things. So, hey, I just wanted to share this lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Um, on to the next one, Shalom.